The Star City Training Center near Moscow is familiar ground for an experienced ESA astronaut like Paolo Nespoli. A member of ESA's astronaut corps since 1998, he is preparing for his third mission to the International Space Station. This time he'll be flying for the Italian Space Agency, which has a barter agreement with NASA. However, there are new classes to take and exams to pass before he's once again qualified to fly to orbit. It's a little bit like going to school. The um, adrenaline that pumps in when you are in, a, in an exam. From one side you want to show off, you want to show all the things that you know. In the other side you need to be careful because uh, some of these uh, things can be very tricky and it's uh, easy to uh, you know, misunderstand something or get in too much involved in one thing and forget about the other one. The Vita mission will begin with a Soyuz launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, after which Paolo will spend around five months on board the station. During that time, he'll be performing maintenance duties as well as carrying out a large number of diverse experiments for the Italian Space Agency, ESA and the international ISS partners. I am a, an engineer, an aerospace engineer, but I will do uh, experiments that have to do with genetics, with medicine, with life science, with metallurgy. Uh, and we have a complex set of experiments spanning 360 degrees. In many ways, Paolo Nespoli's routine over the next few months will echo his daily life during the Magistra mission, which ended in May 2011. It's a heavy workload, with a schedule designed to get the most out of an astronaut's allotted time in orbit. The astronaut in space is one of the resources of the space station. We do work from 7.30 in the morning until 8.30 in the evening. About 50% of that time is used for maintaining the station. And then uh, another 30 to 40% is actually scientific work. The space station is an amazing place where, where you can do anything and everything and that's why we are trained for so long and, and so we are, we are trained to go up there and, and being able to do everything. Although certain aspects of life on board the ISS will be familiar for Paolo, VITA is a brand new ISS mission with its own set of challenges and another crucial opportunity for ESA and the Italian Space Agency to utilize this unique resource in space.